Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 13. When we last left off, we quickly explored levels 12 and 13, found the Black Crystal, and the last Ruby Treasure, the Ruby Amulet. With that said, let's finish this damn game. Welcome to Over. And we run into our first enemy, four red skeletons that are going to get their asses whooped. Psychedelic dead. There are a lot of stairs on this level leading to level 15, but let's not take it just yet. Let's pass through this wall instead. Now let's pass through the south wall and see what's on the other side. The words to a phalanx spell are written here. Now let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. Some stairs leading down to level 15. Let's not take them just yet. The dragon is near. Now let's pass through this wall. The old man cannot help you defeat the dragon. Now let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. Seek the magic staff in the secret level. Yeah, the magic staff they're talking about on the secret level is just the mage staff. I already have better staffs with my two magicians. Here's some more stairs and we do want to take these down to level 15. What in the hell is that? They call that a golem. It looks more like a shit tumor. The shit tumors are pretty tough, but they're not as bad as leprechauns. Look at that, already killed one. Look at the goofy grin he has on his face. <laughs> Alright, this battle is starting to get a little ridiculous. Here we go, we're finally making some progress. There's that shit eating grin again. Mm. 
Maybe these guys are as bad as leprechauns. About damn time. Uh-oh. It's eight gangsta goblins. This battle's gonna be a tough one. At least they don't get a lot of attacks like leprechauns and shit tumors. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Damn, this battle's going longer than I'd like it to. Uh oh, Merle's almost dead. I better hope I can get a heal spell off sometime soon. There we go, Merle's good now. And the gangster goblins meet their psychedelic death. The words to a crystallized spell are written here. Now let's pass through the west wall. These are some stairs leading back to level 14. Let's ignore them and pass through the south wall. Now let's pass through the south wall and ignore the stairs back to level 14. Oh no, watch out. It's eight more shit tumors. This is going to be a long battle. I take that back when I said these guys weren't as bad as leprechauns. They're just as annoying. This battle's been going on for almost a minute now, and I haven't even killed one yet. Yay, finally killed one. Wow, is it ever going to be my turn? Where's Jack's one-hit kill when you need it?
Yay, we finally killed a couple more. This battle is going on way too long. Yes, killed another one. Button mash time. Finally, after battling the shit tumors for about four minutes, we beat them. Facing west on the final path to victory, cast your last pass wall. From here, let's pass through the south wall. Magic fountain. Magicians may drink and replenish on their magic points. Awesome. And we will also find the stairs to the last level, level 16. On level 16, in order to get to the dragon, you have to follow the green clues we got on previous levels. If you follow them just right, you should be able to find the dragon. Welcome to Dragon. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. The path to victory begins here. The first step on the path to victory is to pass through the north wall. The next step is to take two steps to the west and one back to the east. Teleporter activated! The teleporter only teleports us to a different area on level 16. Now what we want to do is head west and pass through the wall twice. But before we can pass through the second wall, we have to kill these five spiders first. This should be a pretty easy battle. These spiders are not hard at all. Button mash for the win. Jack has awarded the silver helmet for kicking so much ass. From here we need to head north. Now head east. Oh shit, it's six gangsta goblins. I don't have time for this. I'm running. Cowards. Four gangster goblins, I got time to kick y'all's ass, and it's going to be a quick one. Damn, that was fast. From here, we need to pass through the south wall. And we find ourselves two shit tumors that must get their asses whooped. Rotten hell, shit tumors. Now we need to take one step south, turn to the west, and pass through the wall. Now comes the tough part. What now? Oh, three spiders, come get you some. Bye bye, spiders. Is this it? Sorry, just a tease. Good boy and good luck. And when you go through the door, you will face the most butt fugliest dragon you've ever seen in your life. 
And watch out, this butt fuglish dragon does hit really hard. Damn it, he keeps hitting Merle. I'm just gonna have to heal Merle to full strength with the regenerate spell. I don't know what I was thinking at this point. I should have just been bashing the A button and using heal spells when needed, not using these stupid other spells. Here I go again, using these stupid other spells. Yeah, I'll crystallize, like that's gonna stun a dragon. Like I said before, I should've just been bashing the A button and using hill spells when I needed, besides using them stupid spells. Oh shit, he hit Merle hard! I definitely didn't see this coming against the dragon. A super fast ass whooping! And after beating the dragon, you are awarded 5,000 gold pieces and 5,000 experience, which are no longer needed in this game, so I don't even know why they give them to you. I want to apologize in advance if this gives anyone a seizure out there. This is the code for J. Write it down. This is the code for Jack. Write it down. Guess who's next? This is the code for Claire! Write it down! And last but not least, this is the code for Merle! Write it down! Swords and Serpents Hall of Fame. You had defeated the dragon. Your party leaves the dungeon with 7,917 pieces of code, zero experience points, and experience level 16. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers Let's Play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 13. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to thank Jacksaw Jack for recommending this game to me. It's a very fun game if you like dungeon crawlers, but it can be very annoying and frustrating also. And I'm so happy that I'm finally done with it. I want to thank you again for watching and thanks for the support.